For 25 years, fundraiser Karen Brown has made it her mission to help find a cure for Jerry's kids, children with muscular dystrophy. Now she's praying for a medical miracle for herself. Charles Feldman has her story. In years past, you may not have taken note of Karen Brown when she would present a check during the annual Jerry Lewis muscular dystrophy telethon. But for a quarter of a century, kids. Seven months ago, Brown's life took a dramatic turn. She was diagnosed with a rare and serious form of scleroderma, an autoimmune disease affecting her skin and joints. In my case, I've been told that, um, being that I have the most severe form, that uh, perhaps experimental treatments are the only way for me to go at this point. And it could be a matter of months or perhaps a little bit longer that I have to find um, a way to combat the disease. A little over a week ago at a pre-telethon dinner, Brown said goodbye to the people and organization she helped nurture. Uh, this is my last year fundraising in, in this manner. And I would hope that all of you would come on board. I know Karen from her reputation and what she's done over the past 25 years. Raised some $3 million in all, in aggregate. And uh, it's just, uh, it's always a pleasure to watch, watch somebody do, do something and be so successful at it and do it uh, because they, they're doing it from their hearts. The irony of her situation is not lost on Karen Brown, a helper for 25 years now in need of help. But she says the years she spent giving so much of herself for charity have paid off. In being in the wheelchair, recognizing that things were different now. So I've, I'm drawing upon the strength that I, I've gotten from client families, patients. She's always had a very keen sense of compassion. And I think this is what charity work has brought out in her, how to apply it and how to make it work for other people and for herself as well. Karen Brown has hope that an effective treatment for her disease will soon be found, that a, quote, miracle will occur. And why not? After all these years helping others, isn't it her turn now? Charles Feldman, CNN, Los Angeles. They